Okay, so let's make a panel. Now we have choices here. I'm using F to zoom in. We have choices, by the way, on whether we use, if we look at UI, Text Mesh Pro or not. Now, Text Mesh Pro is included with Unity since well, sometime last year in the 2018s. So, why not? I mean, let's include this. Now, if we choose one of these, here we go, it'll tell us to import it. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, so, we do import Text Mesh Pro Essentials which is really using the package manager behind the scenes. So I could have done this uh, in a different way, but that's fine. Okay, so let's not worry about that. Text Mesh Pro is here. That's what I was after, the fonts. So it gives us one extra font, the Liber Liberation Sans. Now, personally, I like Google Fonts. I can download uh, various fonts and we can add fonts. So let's do that as well, just to show what we can do there. So I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call it fonts. Okay, so if I bring up Explorer, I have a drive of fonts that I've already downloaded in the past. There we are. Uh, and there's all kinds of different fonts, really. Um, Sensation's kind of not bad. Uh, there's new. Oh, where are you? Let's use Architect's Daughter. It's kind of cute. Now it's an. Oh, so we open this. We can see it's an open font license, which is great. It's kind of like open source, but for fonts. So we can use this uh, without any drama, and we can. Let's just copy that. Okay, so now that I have taken that out of the zip file, I can drag that into Unity as an asset. If we go back to Unity, is there a window for Text Mesh Pro? There it is! Dun, dun, dun! Font Asset Creator, ha ha! Alright. So, Text Mesh Pro, let's do this, let's do that, there. Right, so a source font, bingo, architect's daughter, thank you. Choose Architect's Daughter now, we can. Excellent. We can. Yes, we can already see that we're getting the hand style of Architect's Daughter. You can see there. And if we go back to this text, we can make this larger and we can play with the, the layout of this thing. Alright, excellent. Now just to have a, a deeper look at what happens with Text Mesh Pro, I think it's worth just looking at what happens when you're adding a font to Text Mesh Pro. It's doing something quite interesting, in fact. So earlier I added Architect's Daughter, which is a font downloaded from uh, Google Fonts, fonts.google.com. So we can see here there's a whole bunch of fonts and this is where, you know, not all these fonts are, are free, so you, uh, although most of them are actually free, so you, you want something that uses the open font license and you can tell, uh, you select a font, it usually tells you uh, down here somewhere, usage, License, open font license. Right? So if you click on this, it'll explain the terms of the license. And actually, it's pretty good because you see nice samples and all that jazz. You know, righteous isn't bad. Let's, let's go up righteous. It's an open font license. Um, and so 
I'll just drag in. That's the font file. Now to make this, uh, so from window text mesh pro, we get this font asset creator. And this is the thing I just wanted to focus on for a minute. So let's now choose our righteous font. Okay. Now, so what's happening here is this is actually creating, um, see how it says Atlas? So this is a classic idea in game development where you have a sprite atlas. And this will determine the resolution of the font that's used within TextMesh Pro. So if, now let's have a look. Yeah, we can see what auto does for us. Let's do generate the... Okay, so because I've chosen a bigger size, it means that this, this is your sprite atlas. So it's packing in all the different characters from the font. It's rendered it into this white on black square. So here are basically all of the characters. But anyway, in theory, that should be all the characters in the font. Um, you can see some capitals, you can see some lower case, and it's tried to pack it in pretty tightly. And it'll be mapping to each position, it'll be mapping a character, a letter, a number, or whatever. Uh, and it'll be from this that it renders the font onto the screen. So this will be about render efficiency and it'll be about the resolution. So by upping this value here, we should actually get better font outcomes at the cost of this um, asset taking a bit more space. So if you want to make your font, say you need a heading and you really need it to be glorious, you know, to be a really fine, um, you know, anti-aliased kind of font, then this is what you'll need to do. You'll want to increase the size of the atlas resolution and then generate your font atlas. Um, so you can t it tells you how many characters are involved, tells you what character codes are missing, that's all fine. So we could actually try, let's try the, a bigger number. Come on. 496 by, yep, 4096, and we'll generate another font atlas, and so this should be bigger again. Right, see, and so again, it, it'll just look a bit better at the edges. Um, it obviously took longer to generate because it's bigger. So let's save this, and we'll save it into our fonts directory, righteous font, so that's good. Okay, so now if we make use of that in the hierarchy, we add, uh, well, let's do a panel first. Kind of like my panels. Scene view, that helps. Okay, so now within our panel, we can add some text mesh pro text. We can choose. Righteous font and yeah, it's got some interesting artifacts there in the background. I don't know what that's all about. So I should be able to so let's let's stand up two fonts side by side and see the, the differences. 120. Okay, that looks better. Let's um, make this span across the top. And get rid of the inset. We will pin it to the very top by making this a one. And so that out, and we'll make this a. How did I guess that? 50. Okay. So there's a font, and you can see it's got some pretty, um, zoom in, it should actually look, see how nicely rounded that is? Now let's do the same thing with uh, the default font they provide, um, and we can also compare against architects and see what the difference is. So this is our uh, righteous font. Uh, High resolution. Okay. Let's give it high res. Okay. Now 
what we can do is we can just duplicate that, but we'll change the font. So font, uh, let's try, yeah, sorry, this will be the um, liberation sands, which they provide. We don't actually know what kind of, um, you know, how big their Sprite Atlas was, but I'm assuming it's not as big. Minus hundred, oh, minus. Okay, and let's zoom out a bit here for a sec. So this will not be high res. This will be default font. And if we zoom in, okay, we can see some sort of jagged artifacts. Some of that may come from the font file. Some may be from the resolution, but it's definitely not as fine as our high-res one. Okay. Now we might, let's make, as a point of comparison, let's make a righteous that's a low res, and then that way we can really see the difference. So, find as a creator, let's make, now I think 512 was the default, but really to push it a bit, let's make it 128 by 128. Generate find this. Okay, that's clearly ridiculous. They'd probably be choose 512 for a reason. Let's see what 256 gives us. Okay, so they're actually doing some anti-aliasing to try to improve the resolution. So this is interesting. All right, let's go with 512 then. Wow, that's fuzzy as heck. Look at that. Okay, so actually here's your anti-aliasing, so smooth. Right, that's a bit better. So actually this is where you get to choose these options too about how much anti -ice. Let's try the 128 again with smooth. Still, oh man, that's hardly anything. Okay, okay that's not horrible, it's workable. Uh, fast. Oh, I'm sure fast would be fine. Um, all right, so let's go with that. That should push our boundaries a bit. Now, save as, uh, down here. Let's call this one uh, 128. So we know that's our low res asset. Back to the hierarchy. Duplicate uh, this, and call this low res. Very low res. So was that 128? No. That was 256. Not bad. Okay, so now over here, let's just stand out for a sec. Move this thing down to minus 400. And we need to change this. Uh, low res version and we can absolutely see a difference. Okay, so these are the same fonts. This is um, righteous. But oh, look at those fuzzy jagged edges. Versus smooth lovely edges. So that's the difference with some of these settings in the font asset creator. When you're adding a font, just think about uh, whether you want to really make it, if you want to say zoom in or make it a large font for like a massive heading, then you may want to change the atlas resolution when you're generating your font asset. And then that way you'll get better outcomes.